Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2013-2019 coexistence video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to be looking at copying our receive connectors from Exchange 2013 to Exchange 2019 as part of our coexistence migration series and this is part 15. So I currently have open the Exchange Admin Center on my Exchange 2019 server. You can see I've got uh, five default receive connectors that come standard with Exchange 2019 when you install it. If I go look at my 2013 server, you can see I've got a custom receive connector that I want to copy. And this is what we'll be demonstrating how to do. Now, to save time in the video, I have downloaded the script that Thomas, another Exchange MVP, has put together on GitHub. I will put it in the description of the video for you to download. And I have got everything set up for us. So I've launched an elevated Exchange management shell. And I've got the script ready. So let me just explain to you what the command actually does. So the first part copy receive connect is the actual powershell script that we'll be using which is saved in my installs directory the source server where we want to copy the uh, receive connector from is our exchange 2013 server and then the connector name this is the connector that we want to copy and then i've just specified copy to other because i want to copy to my 2019 server i only have one but i use the switch along with the domain controller I only have one but this is my domain controller so now that everything is ready, if we press enter, you'll see it will start running. It's actually quite quick and it should copy the receive connector, as you can see, to the 2019 server. And we can validate this if I go to exchange 2019. Just give it a second. There you can see that. This is the connector that is on our 2013 server that is now successfully copied. And obviously we can go and modify this connector now for 2019 so that it doesn't reference 2013. So that is how simple it is to actually copy everything. It copies the config, it copies your bindings and all that. And in the next video, we're going to actually look at modifying our application so if you have a service desk application or you have a custom built crm application or anything else that is pointing to exchange 2013 we need to modify it to point to 2019 so we can start testing mail flow and you may need to create another receive connector on 2019 for your applications but with that being said we've successfully copied our 2013 connector to 2019 and we will proceed now to the next video where we will update our applications. Thank you very much for watching.